I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll learn how to take care of depression by using natural nootropic supplements. Now, contrary to popular belief in mainstream medicine, depression is not necessarily caused by neurotransmitter dysfunction. In other words, simply boosting serotonin may not take care of your depression. Now, we'll talk about other potential causes of depression, including problems with neurogenesis and brain-derived nootropic factor, or BDNF for short, other prescription meds, depression caused by stress, and of course, depression possibly caused by problems with dopamine, acetylcholine, GABA, or serotonin, and how to test each one. Sound good? Now, before we get started, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to this channel and hit the share button right now so others dealing with your, their depression can learn more about natural options to give them some relief from their depression. So stay with me for a few minutes and I will tell you more about the best nootropics for depression. Let's get started. Nootropic forums and blogs often describe depression as a neurotransmitter imbalance in the brain, and then offer suggestions on various nootropics to help lift mood and banish depression. But this simplistic view of depression misses the complexity of this disease. Recent research has shown that depression can have many possible causes, including out-of-whack mood regulation by the brain, genetic problems, stressful events, prescription medications, and medical problems. Now, it's true that neurotransmitters are involved in the process that contributes to depression, but it's usually not a matter of one neurotransmitter being too low and another too high. Instead, you have several neurotransmitters, amino acids, hormones, and other neurochemicals working both inside and outside neurons. The interaction of these neurochemical interactions make up a highly dynamic system that is responsible for your mood and how you perceive and experience life. With this level of complexity, you may have similar symptoms of depression to the person next to you, but the issues in your brain and body could be completely different. So what works best for some, someone else experiencing your symptoms may not be the best for you. And this is why we often say in the nootropic community that your mileage may vary when describing a particular nootropic supplement and how it feels. It turns out that neuron connections, neurogenesis, and the function of neuronal circuits may play a more important role in depression than levels of neurotransmitters. For example, researchers in Munich studied 24 women who had a history of depression, and on average, the hippocampus was 9 to 13 percent smaller in depressed women compared to healthy women. And the more bouts of depression a woman had, the smaller the hippocampus. Now we know that stress plays a role in depression, and research has shown that stress can suppress neurogenesis, which would account for the smaller hippocampus in these women. But we also know that brain-derived nootropic factor, or BDNF, a naturally occurring protein, is critical for preventing apoptosis, or brain cell death, the growth of new neurons, or neurogenesis, and growth of synapses. So please check out my video on this channel that's called 13 Nootropics to Boost BDNF. Increasing brain-derived nootropic factor is one way to combat depression, and you'll see some parallel between nootropics listed that I'm going to talk about below, or soon, and the list of nootropics used for boosting BDNF. Now, if you've ever tried antidepressants for alleviating depressive symptoms, you know that it often takes weeks to feel any benefit. Scientists have a theory that the value of these medications may be in generating new neurons or neurogenesis, strengthening neuron connections, and improving neural signaling, and not necessarily neurotransmitters. So now the researchers speculate that the new modification medications could be developed that specifically promote neurogenesis. And as it turns out, we already have this ability with several natural nootropic supplements. 
Now that you know that neurotransmitters are not the only critical part of preventing depression, we can't discount their importance either. Neurons are specifically designed to communicate with each other. When a neuron is activated, it passes an action potential down its axon to the axon terminal. Neurotransmitters are stored in vesicles in this terminal. The action potential, or the signal, releases certain neurotransmitters into the synapse, which is the space between neurons, and onto the dendrite of the receiving neuron. As the concentration of neurotransmitters rise in the synapse, they bind to receptors embedded in the membranes of the two neurons. Now, this release of the neurotransmitter from one neuron can activate or inhibit the second neuron. Once the first neuron has released a certain amount of neurotransmitter, a feedback mechanism instructs the neuron to stop putting out this neurotransmitter and begins bringing it back into the first neuron. This process is called reuptake. Now, in those who are severely depressed or manic, this fine-tuned system of neurosignaling goes out of whack. Either too much or too little of the neurotransmitter is released or if the uptake is overly efficient and mops up too many neurotransmitter molecules before they have a chance to bind to receptors. It can have a significant impact on mood. The primary neurotransmitters that play a role in depression include acetylcholine, dopamine, glutamate, GABA, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Each one of these neurotransmitters can be boosted or their reuptake affected by taking nootropic supplements, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. I'm going to give you examples. Depression is often a side effect of certain prescription drugs. Now, these drugs include antimicrobials, antibiotics, antifungals, antivirals, heart and blood pressure drugs, hormones, insomnia drugs, tranquilizers, antacids, narcotic pain drugs, and more. And we know from experience that many of these prescription drugs can be replaced by safer natural alternatives, like nootropic supplements. But I am not, repeat, not encouraging you to stop using whatever meds you're currently on without consulting your doctor first. I am encouraging you, however, to seek out safer alternatives that often do the job just as well and will enhance your brain health overall. But it's up to you and your doctor. Nearly all of us experience stressful events, and while not every one of us who faces stress develops depressive disorder or other mental disorders, stress does play an important role in depression. Depending on how sensitive you are to stress, along with messed up neurochemistry and even genetics, a perfect storm of any or all of these influencing factors can lead to depression. So please check out my video on this channel on the best nootropics for anxiety which includes several nootropic supplements that help you deal with and conquer stress and even boost your mental performance. I'll include a link to it below this video. If you are currently being treated for depression, or you suspect you may be dealing with undiagnosed depression, and are looking for a more natural, safer way to treat your symptoms, nootropics could be the answer. You're not alone for looking for an alternative to drugs that come with a host of side effects. Research in the United States and other countries shows that significant numbers of people use alternative medicine to treat their depression. Researchers conducted a survey of more than 3,000 women in the USA to find out how many had turned to alternative medicine for depression. Of the 220 women who said that they had been officially diagnosed with depression, 54% said that they used alternative medicine to treat their symptoms. Now, I have found that, that the following list of nootropics that I'm about to tell you work well for different types and causes of depression. But as I mentioned before, your mileage may vary. What works for me may not work for you. Wise and careful experimentation is critical to finding a safer alternative for treating your depression. A member of the racetam family of nootropics, aniracetam, which is one of my favorite nootropics, works with dopamine D2 and D3 receptors in your brain, and it desensitizes AMPA receptors, which are glutamate receptors. Aniracetam is one of the most effective antidepressants I've ever tried. 
and its effects on dopamine in your brain have a profound effect on anxiety symptoms as well. One of the most powerful herbs in Ayurvedic healing, Bacopa has been used for millennia to relieve anxiety, fatigue, restore energy, and boost concentration. This adaptogen has been used, seen in clinical studies to work as well for depression as benzodiazepines and tricyclic antidepressants. CoQ10 is your cell's natural source of energy. Fueling your mitochondria by taking fat and converting it into usable energy, CoQ10 preserves brain function, it helps fight mental illness and migraines. Major depression, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia are now being recognized as having mitochondrial dysfunction in common. With higher oxidative stress levels, studies show that 1,200 milligrams per day of CoQ10 in bipolar adults experience a significant reduction in depression. I do not recommend using 5-HTP for treating depression, but thought to include it here since it's promoted as a natural antidepressant. This amino acid is naturally produced in your body, and it's synthesized from the amino acid tryptophan, which you get, which you get from food. Now, 5-HTP is the precursor needed to produce the feel-good neurotransmitter serotonin. But a summary published by the Alternative Medicine Review noted a lack of evidence for loading precursors to treat depression. Combining 5-HTP with SSRIs, tricyclics, and MAOIs will cause serotonin syndrome, and the side effects on its own, just even without those drugs, are nasty. The tree, this tree, native to China, has been used for thousands of years to boost mental alertness, improve cerebral circulation, and for overall brain function. Now, many have found ginkgo to be very effective in reducing anxiety and stress, and for boosting mood. 1,570 women and men and women in England participated in a study using 120 milligrams of ginkgo biloba extract daily for 4, 6, and 10 months. Those who use ginkgo the longest experienced the most improvement in ratings for anxiety, depression, energy, drowsiness, sadness, and happiness. Did you know that iodine-deficient populations are up to 13.5 IQ points less than normal people? Since iodine has largely been removed from table salt in some countries, it's been suggested that iodine deficiency is epidemic. Particularly in countries like the U.S., iodine is, essentially, is essential for your thyroid health, and nearly every tissue in your body relies on thyroid hormones. Not enough iodine can result in hypothyroidism negatively affecting acetylcholine synthesis in your brain, affecting cognition, memory, learning, recall, and mood. Kava is native to the South Pacific, and the islanders use kava for its sedative effects. Kava can help reduce anxiety and depression. Unlike benzodiazepines, kava does not impair cognitive function. In fact, studies show that it not only will improve mood, but may boost cognitive function as well. Also called the smart mushroom, Lion's mane boosts brain nerve growth factor, which increases neurogenesis. Lion's mane can help improve focus and attention, it boosts thinking, repair brain cells, and help anxiety and depression. Women in Japan received lion's mane laced cookies for four weeks during a clinical trial. The researchers found that lion's mane reduced anxiety and depression in these women during the trial. Lack of adequate magnesium can result in brain fog, anxiety, and depression. Plasticity of neuron synapses is affected by the presence of adequate magnesium in brain cells. A study conducted in, with 5,708 people in Norway. The aim of the study was to examine the association between magnesium intake and depression and anxiety. The researchers found that low magnesium intake is related to depression. L-DOPA is synthesized from the amino acid tyrosine in your body and is a precursor to the formation of dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine in your brain. Makuna purians has been used in Ayurvedic medicine since 1500 BC for treating things like snake bite, intestinal problems, sexual issues, and melancholy mood. Research shows that supplementing with L-DOPA as Makuna purians extract is a great natural antidepressant. NAC is an amino acid that regulates the amount of glutamate and dopamine in your brain and is a precursor to glutathione, which, is redu which reduces free radicals. A study with 75 subjects with bipolar disorder were given one gram of NAC twice daily for 24 weeks. Treatment with NAC causes significant improvement with depression in these patients. NALT is a highly bioavailable form of the amino acid L-tyrosine. Your brain uses 
L-tyrosine to produce dopamine and norepinephrine. Dopamine is involved in libido, memory, focus, goal-oriented concentration, and it's a mood elevator and an antidepressant. If you're ADHD or have issues with low dopamine, supplementing with NULT may help improve your memory, boost your IQ, and relieve depression. And I highly recommend NALT or L-tyrosine for anyone using stimulants like Adderall or Ritalin for treating ADHD. One of the newer members of the racetam family of nootropics, nefiracetam, is used clinically to treat and prevent seizures, severe depression, and has been shown neuroprotective qualities. The structure of nefiracetam is similar to the other great racetam antidepressant, aniracetam. Researchers at the University of Iowa did a trial with 159 stroke patients with major depression. The study concluded that nefiracetam produced a significant improvement in the most severely depressed patients. This peptide-derived nootropic related to the racetam family is much more potent than paracetam, but its mechanism of action in your brain is similar to the other racetams. New PEP stimulates dopamine and nicotinic and serotonin receptors, and it boosts cognition, memory, logical thinking, reflexes, and mood. New PEP increases alpha brain waves and beta brain waves. Alpha brain waves increase relaxation, and beta brain waves assist with your state of alertness and mental clarity. Both of these combined can move you into super learning or flow state and joy. This amino acid is a precursor to tyrosine in your brain. Tyrosine helps in the formation and utilization of dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine, and melatonin. One study was done with 23 patients diagnosed with depression who did not respond to standard antidepressants. They were given 50 or 100 milligrams of phenylalanine daily for 15 days. The researchers found that phenylalanine completely improved mood in 17 of the patients within 13 days of the 15-day trial. Rhodiola rosea activates AMPA receptors in your brain, which decreases depression and stress-related mood swings. It reduces fatigue, it stimulates energy and alertness, and it boosts cognition. A clinical trial with 57 patients diagnosed with depression were given rhodiola rosea extract, sertraline or Zoloft, or a placebo for 12 weeks. The study found that rhodiola was slightly less effective than Zoloft for depression, but the, it was a far fewer side effects, and it was better tolerated. SAMe is a naturally occurring amino acid methionine bound to an ATP molecule. It helps in the process of cell division and repair and the generation of the neurotransmitters dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine, and melatonin, which is why it's considered a potent nootropic. SAMe is used to boost mood, relieve depression, improve energy levels, and reduce symptoms of fibromyalgia. 20 healthy volunteers took part in a study receiving infusions of 800 milligrams of SAMe or a placebo for seven days. EEG mapping during the study identified SAMe as an antidepressant, targeting brain regions critical in the therapeutic efficacy of depression antidepressants. This plant has been traditionally been used for mood disorders and wound healing. Today, it's used mostly as a treatment for anxiety, depression, and stress. St. John's wort works like prescription SSRIs by preventing the reuptake of serotonin in your brain. But see the precautions for using St. John's wort in the video on this channel that I have this nootropic before trying this nootropic supplement to treat your depression. Salbutamine is a synthesized version of vitamin B1 or thiamine, which easily crosses the blood-brain barrier. It's two thiamine molecules bonded together. As a nootropic, it's taken to boost mood, memory, and motivation. A study at the University of Wales, Swansea, in the UK, worked with 120 young adult females. The study participants took either a placebo or 50 milligrams of thiamine for two months. Mood, memory, and reaction times were monitored before and after taking the tablets. Two months after supplementing with thiamine, participants were more cl clear-headed, they felt more composed and energetic, reaction times improved, and mood was better. So beauty mean is thiamine. This essential amino acid is a precursor to serotonin and melatonin and niacin, vitamin B3 in your body. Adding tryptophan to your stack can boost your serotonin levels, and it should help with anxiety, ADHD, depression, insomnia, memory loss, pain, and eating disorders. 
Turmeric is one of the main spices in curries. In parts of India, where curries are eaten most often, Alzheimer's disease is extremely rare. This spice in its extract called curcumin has a unique ability to reduce inflammation common in Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and brain tumors. A study conducted in India looked at the efficacy and safety of using curcumin, one of the active ingredients found in turmeric, for treating major depression. 60 depressed patients took either 20 milligrams of Prozac, 1,000 milligrams of curcumin, or a combination of both daily for six weeks. The best response during the trial was with the patients using both of them. And the researchers concluded that curcumin could be used as an effective and safe treatment for patients with major depression as an adjunct or an add-on to antidepressants. This precursor to ribonucleic acid, or RNA, provides instructions to your, to your DNA to help create, from your DNA to create memory by facilitating connections between brain neurons via synapses. Uridine supplementation as a nootropic uplifts and stabilizes mood. It's anti-stress. It helps OCD. It's anti-anxiety, and it helps modulate and normalize dopamine release. Vitamin B6 helps your brain make serotonin, norepinephrine, and melatonin. The activated form of vitamin B6, called P5P, is particularly effective in boosting serotonin and GABA in your brain for depression. For depression, look for P5P supplements, or a B-complex formula that uses P5P instead of peroxide. This B vitamin plays a key role in the efficient conversion of carbohydrates to glucose your cell's source of fuel. It also helps your body convert fatty acids into energy. Supplementing with vitamin B12 can help lower anxiety and elevate alertness, cognition, energy, vision, elevate mood and retrieve insom relieve insomnia. No more mood swings. Nootropics are a strong alternative to many antidepressant medications currently prescribed by doctors and promoted by the big pharmaceutical companies. But a very strong word of caution, if you are currently using any prescription antidepressant medications, or any medication for that matter, research each nootropic including the side effects and the prescription drug interactions or contraindications before using them. To finally beat depression, you must figure out the root cause of it. It is pointless to try otherwise without doing your research. And experiment with various nootropic supplements until you find what, you're, what works for you, until you feel better. Good luck in your search. There is hope. I know because I've conquered my own depression and came out on the other side better than before. So, that's my report on nootropics for depression. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about in this, in this video, go to my website, Nootropics Expert, and search for the best nootropics for depression. Or click on the link in the notes section down below this video. Just click the More button, and it'll, your, the notes section will drop down. You'll find the link in there. Once you're at my website, nootropicsexpert.com, you'll find a full transcript of this for this video. And you'll also find dozens of articles on all the well-known tropics over on Nootropics Expert. If you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details on 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And my four-time award-winning book, the second edition of Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Entropic Supplements, is currently out of stock. I'm searching for a new publisher, so please stay tuned and thanks for your patience as I work to get Head First stocked again soon in bookstores worldwide. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar below in the notes section of this video. And if you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.